Sunday brunch with Bob and Ray. Hey, 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 brunchies. <laughs> <laughs> I liked your last hey. hey. Why not, man? That was a good one. You got up there. I did. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an opera singer. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, I thought it was so cool. I just thought opera was awesome. And then as I got older, I'm like, I could be that lady that breaks the glass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not in a good way. Yeah. Eardrums are bleeding. Eyeballs are bleeding. And people are like, please shut up. (laughs) (laughs) And you'd have to learn Italian, I believe. What is it? I have a voice only my mother would love or something like that. (laughs) Yeah. My kids definitely don't love it. That's for sure. (laughs) Like, stop singing in the car, mom. I've had enough of you. No, (laughs) go. I always ask Bobby a question so the audience can get to know us better. And... Last week, we asked the question, would you rather get a sexy singing telegram or a oversized card full of glitter? Right. You said sexy singing telegram. Right. And I was thinking, I wonder what song you would send to your significant other as the sexy oh, singing telegram. Um, I would I would send, I touch myself. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, oh. I touch myself. So, I want you to touch me. I like that. Wouldn't that be hilarious if That'd someone showed one. up to yeah. your office and you were singing I Touch Myself? It'd be super funny to see Ian have to sit there and listen, listen to, to I, I Touch, touch myself. myself with like Chad Lore. I like that one. Ride it, my pony, my shaft. <laughs> my genuine. Yeah, my genuine. You're like, I genuinely love you. Yeah, there you go. See, it would Get work in the thing. saddle and ride it. Ride it, ride that pony. Express. <laughs> <laughs> Ride the Pony Express. My real question of the day to get to know you better is, are you afraid of anything? Oh, yeah. Snakes, sharks, alligators, heights. You're afraid of heights? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely afraid of heights. That's crazy. I never used to be, but as I got older, I've become... I get more woozy around heights, like with the vertigo thing. That's the thing. See, I would... In my mind, I would end up falling off the edge because... Of my vertigo because it it just like takes over. It's like woo 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 woo. I would end up falling off the edge. The first time I ever felt that was when we were at the Royal Gorge. Oh gosh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, Ian took me there. I don't know, maybe ten years ago, and we were rafting. But at night we went up to the Royal Gorge, yeah. and cars can drive on that. And what really uh. freaked me out is you're so high and then a car would come and the whole bridge because it's a suspension bridge or right. whatever would just like shake and i couldn't even make it to the other side i was like nope i'm turning around oh see you're no. smart you're smart not doing it i went to the royal gorge and yeah we did the rafting thing like the half half day of the first day and maybe half day on of the, the second. arkansas yeah it was a, a total blast yeah it's super fun it's so fun yeah i was scared of that Really? Yeah, I'm afraid of open water. Oh, yeah. But I went river rafting. Yeah. And the night before, I was like, Ian, I don't know if I really want to go rafting. Can I maybe just hang out and not do anything? But one of his best friends is the guy that owned the rafting company. Oh, so you already had a guide, a good guide. Uh, Yeah, all the guides are really awesome. But I was like kind of chickening out. We were driving up the mountain in joe that's the guy's name in his like van and he's just like going up these switchbacks and whatnot and he looks down by the river and there's an ambulance down there and he's like oh it looks like somebody else must have died and i was like oh my god God. just freaking out and so the morning of i was like i don't know if i'm gonna go and ian's like fine we'll just go home and so i ended up going and it was so fun it is a blast i was on the suspension bridge and I'm freaking out. There's like one inch space between each of the... Uh-huh. And so I'm halfway across, and I'm walking in the middle as fast as I can. And then I turn around, and there's a bus, a fucking bus full of people. Like riding... On the Royal Gorge Yeah, bridge? riding the bridge across. Yikes. So I just start running to the other side. But then you have to get back. Ugh, that's the worst part. Yeah, so then you have to go the other somehow way. I'm like wrangled into this little mess for the fucking cable car, a suspended cable car, right? So I get on and I'm like, you're hanging. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Already, the second you get on. So I went and sat down like 
in a corner and people kept getting on and more people kept getting on I'm like that's enough that's enough people that's uh-huh. enough people yeah, you know no way. I'm looking around I'm gonna die with all these people right here I um, just the other day saw a video of this guy and he, there was like this super sketchy bridge over somewhere in Asia I don't know where but it's like planks of wood and the ropes that go across do you know what I mean it looks sketch as shit like Indiana Jones type stuff yeah and he's like three steps from the edge and he is like shaking and he gets down on his knees and two guys had to like pull him up onto the platform he was so scared he couldn't even move yeah that would be me that would totally (laughs) be me you think he had vertigo Oh, I'm sure he did. I'm sure. And if he didn't before, he definitely does now. And some serious nightmares. So when I'm sitting down on that that tram or whatever you call it, the suspended trolley, um, this little kid's all, what's his problem? I'm all, shut up. <laughs> I'm fucking freaking the You're like, fuck I'm out. old and scared. Yeah. Leave me alone. I wasn't that old then. I was only in my 30s, I think. Last episode, we have to make a correction because in one of your <laughs> shout outs, you kept saying the wrong name of the place. Yeah. So tell us what you really meant. Peerless? No, <laughs> it's Plains. I'm so sorry. Ryan at Plains Tire. <laughs> Thank you so much for hel- helping us out. My shout outs to Plains Tire. Peerless I, does do a good job Peerless too. Peerless does a good job. Yeah. We have amazing tire places, but yeah. we just needed to clear that up. Yeah, it's Plains <laughs> Tire. Plains Tire. But I'm sure a lot of you guys knew that because we sat across from the library. Yeah. But still, you know, we Bobby's have... Bobby's a dipshit. Also, we are mispronouncing some words, and we do it a lot. And something that's come up on the show a lot is we want to know how to say that meat and cheese platter thing properly. Right, the meat and cheese platter. So I have it pulled up, and we're going to listen to how Dictionary.com says we should say it. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, you might have to play it a couple times. Ready? Okay. Charcuterie. 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 So you got to think of cooter. Cooterie. <laughs> yeah. Charcuterie. Hey, you got that cooter board? Got, yeah, you got. <laughs> hey, get me some cooter board. I love cooter boards. I'm here at Grays and Gather to get me some cooter board. So now we know. And if we mispronounce it or one of our guests mispronounce it, that could be something we correct them on. And, Michaela, if you're listening, that could be kind of a fun thing to go in the dictionary. Shark coot. C-O-O-O. Yeah. C-O-O-T. Yeah. Cootery. The Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how to say this word. I always sauce. want to, like, pronounce the whole entire thing. So in Massachusetts, they call it Worcester. But it's spelled Worcestershire. Oh, really? Yeah. Worcester Sire Sauce, which is good stuff. Whatever they put in there, it's good on everything. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Half of that, A1 is made of Worcester Sire Sauce and ketchup. Oh, really? If you ever run out of A1, yeah, just combine That's those it, two. That's it, huh? Yeah. This one was not on dictionary.com, so I had to look it up on a different thing, because apparently Worcester Sire is not a word in, in the oh. dictionary. Oh, Okay. So we're going to the Cambridge Dictionary. Okay. Thank you, Cambridge. Shout out. Okay. Here's how to pronounce it in the U.S. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Let's let's do that one more time. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcester. Worcestershire. One more time. Worcestershire. 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 So worst to sure. Worst is sure. Yeah. You make sure that it's not the worst. Yeah, worst is sure. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're learning yeah. new things every single day. Charcuterie board. And worst is sure. Worst is sure. Worst is sure and the cooter board. And the cooter board. <laughs> hey. That's cheesy and meaty. Yeah, it is. It's super <laughs> cheesy. Um, so we're still not on CastBox getting there but we are on pod addict now oh okay and so for all of you guys listening on like um a new podcast app definitely check out podcast addict because we're on there and i've been kind of listening on that one because we're not on Castbox yet and they have almost all of my podcasts that i like too oh cool so check it out man and also we did have a glitch i don't know what happened this last week uh, the schedule post didn't come out like the episode didn't come out and I had to do it manually. So I'll be double checking that. Okay. This next week. Okay. Um, and you were right, Bob. 
Really? Yeah, the tulip stock thing that was going on yeah. was Dutch. Yeah. I looked it up. It's Dutch. Oh, cool. So you were right on the fucking money. Oh, it should have been a, a trivia question. It should have. could have won. You would have totally won if it I'm was the tiebreaker. I'm going to my ass this week. I want to do a quick shout out to the Casper Artist Collective because yeah. they have some cool stuff coming up. Oh, yeah. Really cool stuff. So if you're an artist and you're not a member, go to the Casper Artist Collective dot com and check it out man because for 35 bucks a year you're going to be able to do some really cool stuff and coming up in about um, six weeks we have something really cool happening so stay tuned okay uh, connie if you're listening get your neon out yeah get your neon out girl we need to light it up well do you have anything happening in casper i really don't um i had a good Good little Valentine's Day. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you I, have your prime rib? No. Garlic um, mashed potatoes? No. Grilled asparagus? Uh, no. Soup? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I made grilled chicken. And nice. um, I don't know if you've ever tried this, but like I just bought a couple of heads of broccoli, cut off the broccoli, put a little butter and a little water, threw in some ranch, like ranch dressing, uh-huh. tossed it in the microwave for a minute. Like one of those packets of ranch or like yeah. the liquid stuff? Well, I have like a big jar of it, mm-hmm. of ranch, you know, because I make ranch all the time. Oh, cool. So I just so sprinkled some, yeah. I just sprinkled some of that on there. Say that again. Water, butter, ranch. Uh, ranch, the powdered ranch dressing, yeah. So, oh, that's cool. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on I there. I that's delicious. It was awesome. I really like like something that's super simple, kind of like that, is you cube up potatoes and then you like put some olive oil in a like oh, bowl I love this and then one, you yeah. put the French onion soup oh, packet in really? there, toss it around and then just throw it in the oven and they're super crispy, but they have like that onion soupy flavor. They're super good and oh it's really gosh. simple. Two in- One ingredient, two ingredients, two in- potatoes yeah. and olive oil oh, yeah, and th- three. Yeah, three. Oh, that's awesome. You don't need salt or anything because all the seasonings are in the packet. All the salt's in the packet. Yeah. For Valentine's Day, Ian and I celebrated early, and I did make him tomato soup. And then I went and got, like, some really good Gouda and a really good Swiss. Uh Uh-huh. And I made homemade bread and made grilled cheese. Oh, my gosh. It was super good. That cheese was so melty, the string was, like, super long when you try to bite it. It was just, like, gooey and delicious. Oh, my gosh. I would recommend smoked Gouda for grilled cheese, and I never thought that would be something that would be good. But on grilled cheese, it's awesome. And then that Swiss Gruyere or whatever it's called, it's super hard Swiss. Uh Uh-huh. So good. Oh, my (laughs) gosh. So that's what I did. Oh, my gosh. That sounds delish. And I did put a love note in Ian's backpack this time when he left. So it was nice talking about all that. It yeah. brought up a lot of stuff that I forgot that I do. Yeah. You know, I really liked our conversation last week. Me too. And then it all came through in fruition. It did. It Well, it was just nice to kind of reminisce on why we love each other. Oh. You and Gary cool. too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was nice. Oh, that's so sweet. The only thing happening in Casper that I know of is Chancey Williams will be at the Beacon. Lots of people love him. So if you're on about, go check yeah. him out. Go sneaking to the Beacon. <laughs> It's not the same. It's not the same. The old beacon was cool. The old beacon. With all the black light yeah. walls and stuff. Like, yeah. it was pretty sweet. Oh, the dog wants it, I guess. Oh. I guess that must mean it's that time for a break. That means it's time for a break. Hey, uh, I guess we're going to let you guys refill your drinks. And I'm going to let the dog in. And we'll see you in a tick, in a tick, in a tick of time. Adios, motherfuckers. <laughs> Bye. fucking peanut gallery in this place today <laughs> oh it's gonna be fun all right bobby you got your ding dong yeah get your ding dong get my ding dong out get it out we oh, need it zip. oh there we go he's got his ding dong handy <laughs> I, are we recording under the table <laughs> <laughs> oh i knocked my mic <laughs> oh we're starting it out good all right are you ready yep we got the doorbell who's oh, ringing the doorbell who's that i don't know it's my cousin, Alex. This is... And his new wife, Jackie. Yay, who congratulations. Who is a welcome member to our family. We got two brand new guests. I don't know these guys very well. No. I've been talking to them for about 10 minutes. Right. That's about it. Say hi. <laughs>
How's it going? Hi. <laughs> don't over. <laughs> don't over <laughs> to no. it. Sorry. It's hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love a it. little bit. It's Guess cold what? out today. My nipples are like yeah. pointing north. Both you guys, you got the little diamond It's the Lakoviak thing. Lakoviak, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which brings us to the W or the V. Right. <laughs> right? Right, Jackie? Uh, we were just talking about this. Yes. How my last name and Alex's last name and Jackie's new name mm -hmm. is terrible. Yeah, so mm -hmm. funny story is... Bobby was really excited about being a pastor or an offici. What is it? A reverend. A reverend. Reverend. Yes. Officiator. Reverend officiator. Robert. Yeah, reverend. reverend Robert. And you guys probably remember this when he was really excited to share this news. And then he, he came back and I was like, well, how'd the wedding go? And he's like, uh, I <laughs> had a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> and so they were just talking about last names and how to pronounce the last name. What was your uh, maiden name? Campbell. Campbell. Oh, I know some Campbells. Soup? No, just joking. <laughs> uh, you know she's related to James Barget, right? Oh, you are? Her yes. sister's that's married right. to James Barget. Yeah. Oh, that's We've had James sister. on the show yes. before. Yeah, we have had James on the show, and they're like down doing some vacation somewhere. I just saw it on Facebook. They're in Cancun? Somewhere. No. It looks tropical. Um, Jamaica, but Jamaica. They, they are back because we... We watched uh, their house for them while they were gone so uh -huh. we could babysit their dogs, but now they're back. Nice. Oh, okay. Which was a couple weeks ago. Oh, really? Oh, well, they just must be posting now. Or I don't get on Facebook very often. It's, no, so... I, I don't. I always say this. If you go on vacation, don't post that you're on vacation on Facebook. <laughs> People yes. will rob your like, house if you don't have somebody rob house They'll your fucking house. Mm -hmm. I swear right. to God. I want to get your guys' take on how Bobby did at the wedding. Our listeners need to know how the whole thing happened. Like, did you guys just say, man, we'd really like you to officiate the wedding? Because Bobby, when he is, like, spontaneous, is really good. Mm -hmm. I know from personal experience yeah. when it's planned, sometimes it's, it can it go a little It just goes awry. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. tell me how this all evolved. Jackie was gorgeous, by the way. Wasn't she a beautiful bride? Thank you. Very much. Oh, my God. Her dress was spot on. She wore this tiara type yes. thing yes. with a big jewel on it. It was so beautiful. And this was I couldn't get over it. I was like, I wanted to cry. <laughs> during the whole thing but yeah stop derailing oh, us <laughs> <laughs> we have here. to know how did this evolve and how did it go i want your guys' take um i was uh picking up my dress in rapid city and uh i was with my mom and um we were having a hard time trying to find somebody to marry us up on casper mountain mm -hmm. i was like i don't i'm not from here yeah who who can i see who can go up there type of thing and i was like um Hmm. So we were tossing around ideas. I was like, you know, I think it'd be great if Bobby could do it. And my mom's like, yes. Oh she, she agreed. Mom. You got yeah. mom's, mom's, approval. mom's approval. Shout out, mom. Shout out, mom. <laughs> you got mom's approval. Yeah. yeah. That's big. Oh. Yeah. So then I asked, you know, my soon-to-be husband. And I was like, what do you, what is your idea of having Bobby do this? He's all like, we can ask. The only thing he could say is no. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Alex? Well, I was hoping that Bobby would be spontaneous, like he always is. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I also wanted it to be something not normal. Uh -huh. was I wanted a funny, something that would be actually catch your eye and remember. Yeah. Instead of just being a classical wedding. Well, and you know, it gets kind of boring when you've got a priest up there and they're like saying all these prayers and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's cool when somebody that really knows you is the one that's marrying you, right? Are you guys close? Yeah. 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 And yeah. you're both from Every, Casper? I, mean, I never hung out with Alex as much as I do now. Like now Not that you're all. adults? Well, no, now that this whole thing went down. Like, Jackie's been the glue between us cousins. Oh, I love that. I love that. So how are you guys cousins? Um, my uncle's son. He's my uncle's son. And Is it the main guy? his uncle's son. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Vince and the minion guy. Right? Yeah, Vince and Dave. Dave. Yep. I yeah. always call him the minion guy because he showed up to Bobby's house one night as a Halloween as a minion. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He was yep. so cute as a minion. Yeah. So that's your dad. He ordered yep. his costume like one size too small, so he was totally moose knuckling. <laughs> I mean, hardcore moose knuckle. I wasn't paying that it was, much. It was moose knuckle minion, and he was hitting on my knees. <laughs> 
gosh. So anyway, let's go back to the wedding. Okay. How did it go? I wish I had said more. Well, you guys had an out- outdoor wedding. Right. Yes. And it was so beautiful. And he said he had a hard time at the ceremony. Like he was having a hard time remembering what yes. he wanted to do and what yeah. he wanted to say. Was it yeah. just because you were nervous? Yes. I think so, yeah. I would have been less nervous in front of a bunch of strangers, not people I know. <laughs> It, yeah, I know it sounds weird. You'd think that you'd be more comfortable around people that you know, but it was, I would have been better with strangers. Because everybody's staring at you, and yeah. it's like, shit, yeah. I don't yeah. want to mess this up. By the way, Gary just pulled up your guys' like, a photo from your wedding. Yes. You guys both look so cute. Oh, my God. I love the little vest with the pink tie. Uh-huh. Can we post this on the Facebook? That's fine. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We're going to post this on the Facebook so our audience knows who we're talking to. Yes. <laughs> awesome. That's So do you feel like this was a good first introduction into Reverend Hood? Because oh, yeah. this was family and yeah. everybody kind of knew you so that even if you messed up, it's not a big deal. Right. So now I'm going to do Terry and Brandon. I, I was, was going to say, ask. I thought you had another one. Yeah. yeah you guys should come. I was going to ask if you were doing that because I got the invite and I was like, I wonder if Bobby's yeah, on deck. Yeah. Do you want me to hold up big cards on what to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Alex, that's your job. That's your job. Here's, here's your the job. deal. Like the bridesmaids were like, okay, now the rings, the rings, the rings. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's my next cue card. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it just says rings. Do the ring thing. He had cards. He was all prepared. I was. Just. I'm like never flip through the cards. <laughs> yeah. No, you flip through the cards. You shuffled them. But that's about it. <laughs> he shuffled them all out of order and then he's like, shit, I don't know what yeah. to do next. So the bridesmaids were like, oh yeah, let, oh, rings, rings. So then we did the rings thing, which was awesome. So you guys are officially married, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I went Just down and filed the, yes. the marriage oh, certificate. Yeah, that's right. So it, maybe they're not. <laughs> Well, I remember you saying that you had to go do that. And you were kind of stressed out about it. Yeah. I'm like, I want to make sure I did it right. Yeah. So I show up and the lady's like, no, no, no. <laughs> you guys might want to double check the marriage status. Just saying. I'm like, so they're single? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> we'll just have to redo it again next yeah, year. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, I love oh, that. That's a good well, idea. Well, when Ian and I renew our vows, Bobby's going to be our reverend, but I'm going to crack the whip on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Why don't you do it and I'll just hold Ian's hand for a while. <laughs> No, I'll have everything like written out for you, oh. and I'll be like, you skip card number two. <laughs> Get back there. <laughs> I'm way more organized. Yeah. It's just Rachel's, my nature. It is. It's just, that's it why is. you and I think get along so well, mm-hmm. is because we're like opposites attract a little bit. Yeah, I know. You know? Unorganized, organized. So, what do you guys like for brunch? Do you do brunch? Are you brunchy? What's t- brunchies? I'll go with what time do you consider brunch? Anywhere between eight and like. Three noon. in the afternoon. Three? Oh, at that point, that's just lunch. Yeah. <laughs> it's brunch. If you get up at noon, you can still have brunch. You at can home. still call it brunch. Yeah, that's yeah. what for the weekends. That's what you have. Yeah. No. On no, Sunday, what do you guys do for like Sunday oh, breakfast wait. burritos? Mm. Oh, yum. Uh, try to make a breakfast casserole. Oh, someone loves. I Starbucks. love breakfast casseroles and <laughs> so breakfast. So I'm gonna ask burritos. what you drink. Starbucks. <laughs> no, we gotta ask more deets. What do you like in your breakfast burrito? Yeah. So we usually do about a pound of sausage and about 15 eggs. Holy shit. And wow. then chili. And green, green or fi- red? Green. Mm-hmm. And jalapenos. Uh-huh. And basically cheese. 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 So you like the spicy breakfast burrito. Yeah. Do you use that hot sausage or like the mild sausage? We use the hot. Well, I'll go with whatever's in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to go a totally different direction on the sausage there for a minute. Oh, <laughs> snap. No wonder they don't even do breakfast. Like, <laughs> they're getting their sausage on. <laughs> That's red. Right. That's the just warm the appetizer. Sausage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get you warmed up for lunch. <laughs> So what's oh. in the breakfast casserole, though? Got your hash browns, eggs, sausage. I do put some hams in it, some green chili, some jalapenos. Um, so spicy casserole, too. Yeah. Some cheese soup. Cheese soup on the... Like the nacho cheese soup? Like no. Campbell's mix? It's um, like cheddar cheese soup. 
Oh my god. That's gosh. every once in a while though, but that sounds kinda that good. That sounds good. But that way the cheese is throughout the whole entire thing. Yeah. So, so you have like a top. cheesy hash brown type Pretty deal much. on the bottom with yeah. the like casserole stuff on top. Potatoes. I think yeah. potatoes. extra cheese on Potato. top. And you gotta put it on broil for a minute when it's all done so that the cheese gets Starts like kinda crispy. And crispy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like a lasagna I'm sweet. Mm-hmm. Yum. That's what I'm talking about. Do you I'm guys have a <laughs> do you guys have a brunch drink? It, uh, it was a mango dragon fruit uh, refresher. Mango coconut milk? No, it's um, more like a it's a mango dragon fruit. Uh-huh. It's a refresher. What's it's, a refresher? It's um, water ish. <laughs> yeah, basically. Kind of like tea. flavored flavored water, oh, essentially good. with some fruit. No whip, <laughs> no yeah. whip, no whip, light foam, I no call, fat yeah, or whatever. I call it a quad vente macchiato, a macchiato with macchiato. Give me the macchiato. <laughs> this is like the third episode that I miss enunciating. Yeah, you are. Uh, That's what makes it funny, though. I know, right? So I get a, car, a quad vente caramel macchiato, no whip. That's mine. Low fat, no foam. <laughs> no fat. No. <laughs> fat. Have you ever seen that movie? I think it's Alfie, where she's like working behind the counter. It's Marissa Tomei, and they're doing all these coffee orders, and she's like, "I need this, 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 this. No whip, no fat, no foam." Da, 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 da. Like it's a funny little scene. I'm gonna play it for you. Oh, okay. And then you'll be able to be like, "Okay, I get where she's I going with this." I understand it. You're not picking up on what I'm putting down. No, I'm not. I'm not. What about What's you? What's in your drink? A Diet Coke. Uh, no. Dr Pepper. Oh, Dr Ooh, Pepper. You're a man after my own heart. Yeah. That's how I start my day out every day. One Dr. Pepper. <laughs> One can of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, though. I have an iced coffee. Thank you, Keurig. Do you guys have an alcoholic beverage that you like? Rum chata ones? and Dr. Pepper. Oh Rum chata and Dr. Pepper? I've never had that. Kind of tastes like a root beer float. I've heard that if you oh. warm up the Dr. Pepper, a rum chata and Dr. Pepper is good. The lady at the liquor store told me that. Really? Yeah, she did. She said warm. Uh-oh. Bobby's got a would you rather. Okay, guys. Would you rather or be never stuck in traffic again or never get a cold again? Oh, I don't know. Considering how sick I've been like off and on for the past six months. <laughs> yeah, I'd say traffic. I'd, I'd say, say traffic. Yeah. I'd rather I mean, be in traffic. Especially in Casper. I mean, <laughs> what is traffic really? Well, in the oh, stigma there's traffic here? right now around sneezing or coughing or doing anything in public, that stigma is real. And people look at you like, what the fuck are you doing out in public? I know, yes. right? So I'd rather sit in traffic because then I can sneeze all I want. Because have you ever had this happen where the light, the sunlight hits you in a certain way? And you, you keep sneeze. sneezing because of the sunlight. And it has nothing to do with you being sick. But I'll be like walking through a parking lot and sneezing. And people are looking at me like, that you know. Sneezing. Yeah. They got the bleep. bleep. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that on air without you, getting you shut say down. <laughs> but it's bleeped. <laughs> yeah, we bleep it out. Bleep. What about you, Alex? I would rather be sick and not be stuck in traffic. Oh. Are you from Big City? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like going slow. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a racer. Right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he... Tell us more about this. Right. What kind of racing do you do? Uh, just doing dirt track, circle track. Do you do it up at the place up here on the hill by the event center? Yep. What kind of, like, do you do modifieds? Like, um, what kinds do you do? I build the, some of the mini stocks. Oh, I'll nice. be building my second one. That's awesome. Yeah. Him wreck other one. Yeah. Yes. Hey, it and happens. Him hurt when get wrecked. <laughs> I did wreck the first one. Yeah, he got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like how fucked up? <laughs> he was bruised everywhere. Bruised is better than yeah. like broken. Right. Yeah, nothing broken on me. The car, it's not so good. <laughs> it's not so good. <laughs> well, the whole frame's twisted up on it. So you must know all the asthmuses and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's what asthmus? It's a last name. Yeah. When I was growing up, my dad used to go to those stock car races all the time oh. with like the Loftuses and the Asmuses raced. So Terry Asmus owns um, Terry Salvage down kind of by the soccer fields. Mm -hmm. That's where I got one of my very oh. first vehicles was from him. I had a little Mustang and a Ford Ranger that I got from him. But like Glenn and Tommy and all those guys, they raced all the time. And Sean Loftus, Megan's brother, raced, and yeah, it was fun. cool. Like, it was a fun time to go out on a Friday night. Oh, yeah. It, you know? it was, yeah. We, our parents were doing their own thing, yeah. drinking beers, so yeah. we were doing our own thing, and nobody was watching us. It was, like, total freedom. But Gary and I drank, like, a whole cooler up there, and we got fucking 
ways <laughs> dead. But you can park your car by the gate and just back in. Yeah. So yeah. you don't even have to like sit in the sit stands. In the yeah. yeah. What got you into racing? Well, I grew up racing other things. Well, like ATVs, motorbikes. I'm sure Dirt it started off with tricycles. And bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> You went from a tricycle to a bicycle. Well, to a, he had a three-wheel bicycle. Dirt bike. Dirt bike. Yeah. Back when I was a wee little lad, still in a diaper. <laughs> my He's dad. He's out there in his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ski yeah. throttle and shit. Like yeah. his legs are sticking up. My dad used to pit for a guy, and while I'd be there, my job at the time was pulling mud off the car. Yeah. So I kind of grew up around racing and a couple different other forms of racing. So. If it's got wheels and an engine, I'll probably race it. We're going to have to go support you this summer. Absolutely. Like, let us know when you're racing. We'll throw it up Friday on the nights. Facebook, and we'll just hang out. Friday night. night. What's your number? 941. 941. Why 941? Well, my first dirt bike that I owned was a 2001 Honda XR80. And then my first actual racing-style bike was a 94 Yamaha YZ80. So I took the... 94 of it because it's a faster bike and put it in the front and I put the old one just to use the one on it and came up gotcha. with 941. That's cool. I didn't know. I thought most of the time it's just two numbers, but it can be three numbers. I'm sure it can be whatever your number you pick, right? Yeah. One million numbers. One million <laughs> numbers. And some people will put letters in there too. Usually Zero 69. Yeah. But I'm going to do professional I was going to say, racing. how do you feel about scooter racing? Yeah, what do you think about that? I'd race. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Gizmodo, here he comes. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, his number is Electric 69, and 69. his name is Gay Leota. Gay Leota, bring up the rear. <laughs> it's gonna be me. And I'm I got so my, excited. I got my pit boss, Mama yeah, T. That's right. I can fucking change the tire on that motherfucker. <laughs> Bam. Be like, Bobby, hit the throttle. Stop being such a pussy. <laughs> I'm scared. He's like, lean into it. Lean. Into it. No, I'm not leaning. I'm not leaning. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. To, I was gonna bring my scooter out today because it was so nice, it was but I'm like, beautiful. it was still windy. Well, I have a would you rather. Okay. You but, guys are gonna like this. I okay. came up with it all by myself. Would you rather be smacked in the face with a fish or live in a house full of flies? Oh, the fish, 100%. <laughs> Fuck flies. I know how you feel about flies. Fuck flies. Well, you know, a smack only lasts for like about 30 seconds. True. Right. And then you can wash it off. So, you know, compared to living in it. It would yeah. stink, though. And what if the eyeball popped out when it smacked you? <laughs> like, bam. And you have to eat it. If the eyeball oh, comes out, you have to eat the that's eyeball. That's even worse. I might live in a house full of flies. <laughs> if I, I have to eat a fish eyeball. I, you know, eyeballs are full of nutrients, but I wouldn't want to eat one. Yeah. I'd probably take the fish snack. Be like, hey, I challenge you to a duel. Yeah. I'll that. take two slaps. <laughs> I would. I know how you feel about flies. <laughs> yeah, I hate them. I, I kind of like killing them. I have the There's war against flies. There's a little flies. bit of a satisfaction, like slapping that fly, knowing that you got it. Yeah. Do you feel like that? Yeah. See? Do you feel like hunting? bad? Like... Indoor hunting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sharp <hunting>. shooting. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you get one of those salt guns to oh, shoot them with. I really oh, want I don't one have of those. one of those. Do you have one of those? No, but I've seen them. Really? I've been yeah. over to somebody else I had one. So. Yeah, was it fun? So yeah. what does it do? It shoots a pellet of salt? Yeah. And it yeah. kills them? Yeah. So is it like a kind of a shotgun, how it disperses the salt? Yeah. yeah. Or you just hit, you have to be accurate? No, it's not a pellet. It's like a shotgun. It's it's just like regular Grain small salt. table. Table salt. So yeah. it just shoots a, yeah. yeah, like a little puff. Yeah. I like, all right, I'm getting one of these. Yeah, they're I'm cool as fuck. Looking one yeah. up as soon as we get off so the So you episode. can shoot this. I'm just going to be like, pew. Pre-warning, you have to be kind of close. But at the same time, if it's like X amount is so big, it will only stun them and then they'll just fly away. Oh, man. You're taking no, the butt out of this. No, if it stuns, screen. I'm going to do like a fly swatter Yeah, attachment. then you stun, swat. Stun, stun and swat. swat. Yeah. It's like the bend and snap, but the stun, stun and swat. swat. Works every time. That's right. <laughs> but if you don't smack it, you can hunt it again. Oh, we're swaying Bobby. We're swaying no. him. But that's only if. Only Other, if. Otherwise, let's eat an eyeball and get on it. Right? <laughs> eat that fish eye. Yeah, I'll You're eat good. fish eye. You got another one? Yeah. Um, I know you do. Would you guys rather travel the world, all expenses paid for one year, or get $50,000 to spend any way you could, wanted? 
50 grand, bitches. 50 grand? Right now I could use 50 grand. I'd travel the world for a year. I'm sure it would cost more than 50 grand. Yeah, probably like triple that. Yeah. To travel the world, all expenses paid. If you're like staying at Airbnbs or like VRBOs. And you're doing all the stuff you want. If you're right. out like sightseeing, drinking wine at the end of the night, going to right. markets. Dinner. I mean, 50 grand's not going to go very far. You know, though, Bobby, travel. I could totally see you partying with the locals and like sleeping on people's couches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Jackie and Bobby would travel. Yes. Is that what you said? Did you say travel? Yeah. What would or, you do? do I'll take the money. I take the money too. You and I are like on the same page here. Yeah. Oh, I knew that answer. We both take flies <laughs> and the money. Flies but and the money. But if both of you took the money, that'd be a hundred grand. Ooh. Mm. See you how far we lot. can go. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, then we could buy stuff that we can keep. Oh. And if I had fifty grand, I could buy one of those salt guns to shoot the flies with. Oh shit! So this is solving I, everything. Yeah, you and could I dual would, wield them. I would buy the oh. high-powered ones so that I don't have to be close by. If there's a high-powered one, I could shoot it from across the room. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. A cattle shotgun one? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I would take the money and run. I, I'd do the world travel. I still would. That way I could fly away from flies. <laughs> And go to some place where, like Africa, where they're in your eyeballs and stuff. Yay, yeah, flies. Hand-sized flies. Uh, <laughs> they have some wild bugs, I've heard, in Africa. Yeah, in Asia, those wasp things. But on a different note, would you rather be trapped in an elevator with somebody who has really bad gas? Oh, my God. Or trapped in an elevator with a crying baby? Gas. I'd say the gas, too, because I can't smell. And after a while, you probably get used to it anyway. <laughs> because I live with Ian. Right. There's times I'm in the house and it smells normal, and then I come outside and I go back in and I'm gaggy. Right. Because I've been like it would be acclimated. The gag. Jackie, gas or crying baby? See, I'd rather do the baby because then at least I'd be able to like Calm ask. It. Yeah. See? That's ask if I can hold it. And yeah. It, you know? Dude, I've smelled some really bad farts, man. No, shake like, it. Like really shake bad. Until it shuts up. Yeah. No. It was shaking just <laughs> some right. Some of us have like you know some of us can calm babies and deal with that. Yeah. Bobby, we know yeah. how you feel about this. Yeah. You're like Jacob. There are small gremlins or gremlins, whatever. Gremlins, yeah. Human gremlins. Yeah. Jackie's baby. Yeah. I'd take the gas because I think you'd get acclimated to it. Yeah. I think it would After just... a while, you just breathe through your mouth. It'd just so smell like air. It. Until you got out of the elevator, it'd smell like air. And by the time you got out of the elevator, you're done. <laughs> She's turning red. Laugh into the That's microphone. So not right. <laughs> Go to Commando. Oh, right. Don't go to Commando. That's a bad idea. In case you shart, you <laughs> yeah. need like an extra pair of underwear. Yeah, you just. But then you could go Commando if you threw your pair of underwear down the elevator shaft. Oh yeah. You could then do it that. wouldn't matter if you sharted or not. Right. You could wipe real quick with the undies and then throw them down the elevator. Oh, that's shaft. a great idea. Seeing that all too much at the bar you used to work with. <laughs> just look over. You know, you're taking a whiz. You look over and the trash has poopy undies in it. And like... <laughs> I've never Dude's seen that. Dude's poops, yeah. I've never seen that. Have you guys ever seen poopy underwear in the bar? Nope. No? No. Uh. Yeah. You're on your own, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't know what kind of bars goes. you're in. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you guys want to do some trivia? Woo! I will try my best. I have okay. body-related trivia for all of you guys today. Okay. So we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back with our first contestant on How Dumb Are My Friends. How Dumb Are Your Friends. <laughs> or in this case, How Dumb Is Bobby's Family. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just remember, you had a choice. <laughs> you married into this family. <laughs> Are you ready? Sure, are you, we'll give it a go. Are you good at trivia? Nope. No? I bet it depends on the day, right? Depends on the subject. Okay, well, you ready for this? Sure. You only use 10% of your brain, true or false? Let's go with false. When someone talks too much, what type of joint are they overusing? Their jaw. The largest muscle in the human body can be found where? Let's go with the abdomen. The medical term for nose job is what? 
That one I have no idea on. What medicine was discovered in mold in 1928? Vitamin D. That's it. You're done. Five questions down. Jackie back in. Well, are you good at trivia? Ish. Are you ready for this? No. All right. Well, we're going anyway because oh, it's part of the show. <laughs> you only use 10% of your brain. True or false? False. When someone talks too much, what type of joint are they overusing? Besides their jaw? The largest muscle in the human body can be found where? I want to say it's like something like in your back. The medical term for nose job is what? Nip. What medicine was discovered in mold in 1928? Can we call on an device? No, there is no phone a friend. <laughs> Aspirin. You're done. Seriously? Yeah, you're ah, done. That's horrible. I know. There's only five questions. It's super simple. All right, get Bobby back in here. I unmuted you. Woohoo, I'm back. All right, we got Bobby back. Are you ready for this, Bob? I don't know. I saw the trauma that was going on earlier. Don't look at my face. I I can only say. (laughs) Body-related questions. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Body, like B-A-U-D-I or B-A-U? B-O-D-Y, motherfucker. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right, ready? Okay. You only use 10% of your brain. True or false? True. When someone talks too much, what type of joint are they using? Jaw joints. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The largest muscle in the human body can be found where? In your butt. The Ultimate medical muscle. term for a nose job is what? Rhinoplasty. <laughs> what medicine was discovered in mold in 1928? Penicillin. You're done. Everybody's done. I know. I fucking slayed it. <laughs> Y'all, you I'm did. Just, I just All right. know. so did. I don't know what a jaw <laughs> joint is. I don't know. Bobby, okay. because right here, you only use 10% of your brain. True or false? Both Alex and Jackie said false. You said true, and it's false. It's false. Oh, shit. So Jackie and Alex both get a How point. How much do you use, do you know? I don't know. I just read the true or false. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going into depth, Watch man. Watch it be like 11%. Okay. So Bobby, That's all I use. 10.1. Yeah, 10.1. I use 10.1% of my brain. Hey, that's more than 10. Yeah. Yeah, it gets me through. <laughs> when, <laughs> when someone talks too much, what type of joint are they using? Everybody said jaw. Mm. However, I have to turn this over because the technical terms. I got to sound this out. Okay. Tempora mandibular. Tempora mandibular. Yeah, and your jaw Tempora. is your mandibular, so that makes sense. Mandible, so yeah. It is a, I mean, you were all close. Jaw is right, or lips. I would say flapping your lips. Yeah, yeah but flapping that's not your joint. Skin joint. The, your skin joint. Your skin joint. Your skin joint. The largest muscle in the human body can be found in what? Alex said abs. Jackie said back. Bobby said butt. It is the buttock. The buttock. Glorious Maximus. It is the buttock. Bobby's favorite muscle. I know, right? Because <laughs> he likes the cord, huh? <laughs> <laughs> The okay. medical term for a nose job <laughs> is what? Alex said no clue. Jackie said nip. Bobby said rhinoplasty, and it is rhinoplasty. Nip. Well, the there's that show, Nip and Tie. Yeah. Nip, nip and tuck. It's nose That's and, where I was. I was like, what? Nose what? and stomach. But they talk about <laughs> they talk about rhinoplasties all the time in Nip and Tie. Yeah. See, I never I only saw like one episode. And there's a ton of movies out there that talk about rhinoplasties because it's the nose job. And there was like a big stigma growing up when I was like in high school about nose jobs. Uh, and so I, I thought. I oh. thought that was blow jobs. Mm, no. <laughs> Only That's in my your generation. Neck of the woods. <laughs> That's your generation. <laughs> Only in your generation. There was a bunch of, of talk in high school about blow jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so, what medicine was discovered in mold in 1928? Alex said vitamin D, Jackie said aspirin, Bobby said penicillin, and it is penicillin. I was going to say when he said I am. Yeah, as soon as he said it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's it. Yep, because he was sitting there thinking, he's like, God, I, 
I just know you that could I see the know smoke this. coming out yes, of his headphones. Yes, I can see him thinking, <laughs> and it didn't work out that way. But do you guys want to hear the tiebreaker? Yeah. Which part of your body is the most sensitive to the cold? What would you say, Bob? Nah. Ooh, nips. Nips. Uh, uh <laughs> testicles. Jackie says nips. Bobby says testicles. <laughs> Alex says fingers. Fingers. Ooh, that's a good one. It's actually your mouth. Oh. Ah. Your mouth is the most sensitive thing to cold. Oh, speaking of which, drinky drink. All right. Cheers. 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 Well, that means that Bobby wins. Woo! That means we're finally fucking tied. I know. <laughs> we lost every round of trivia until the last three rounds of trivia this season. So the yeah. friends were kicking our ass. But the now friends, yeah. we're, we're tied. It's three to three for the whole season. Woo! Bob and Ray three, friends slash family three. Three. Bam. So a Lakoviak still wins. Yeah, exactly. That's right. See? So how dumb is Bobby's family? Not as oh, dumb as not him. Not as dumb as we thought. <laughs> yeah, because either way, all three of you are a Lakoviak. <laughs> That's unfair advantage. Just yeah. saying. Lakoviaks for the win. That's right. I like it. Now it's time for... Balls and their predictions. I have something positive. What do you got positive going on? Well, I just know that we're all going to get out of this little funk that we're kind of in. It's February It happens funk, every man. year. It's seasonal. We're totally getting cabin fever, and we'll get over it. Gary and I have had, like, the worst fights ever in February. Do you guys fight at a certain time of the year where you have more disagreements than normal? October. Me and Ian are October also. Why October? We always fight more in October. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so October is... Um, Basically, you have the end of the stock car season between August and September, uh-huh. right? You don't have snowmobile season until November or December. Right. So about October is like his go stir crazy and it's He's stir getting crazy. Antsy. I actually have a dirt bike that I convert over to a snow bike. Have you seen anybody whiskey throttle one of those fuckers? Oh, <laughs> shit. So my Bad. husband knows this guy who owns a company up in Steamboat called CSR, and it's like uh, Colorado sled rentals, and they have ski bikes. You basically can rent them for the day. There was a guy who was like, man, I want to rent a snow bike. I don't need a guided tour. I know how to do this. I'm a and so they're like, hey, you oh, know, yeah, right. this is how you operate the snow bike. They give you a quick little lesson on it. And this guy was like, I know how to do this. And he hops on this bike and I shit you not, whiskey throttles it so bad where his legs are flying off the back. Oh shit, and he's still whiskey. And he can't let go so it's going even faster. And the guy who owns the sled company that brought the the bike up there had just got a brand new truck and this guy whiskey throttled this thing right into the side of the truck. After he told him he knew exactly what to do, like it was a (laughs) fucked up. Uh, mess, oh my man. god, well, 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 yeah, well, well. and in the snow, those have to take some skill, right? Because you got a track with one ski on the front, right? If you uh, can ride scale. a dirt bike, like a normal dirt bike or something like that, it's pretty easy to go from that to a snow bike. Not almost. if you're from Florida, no, <laughs> yeah. well, do they have snow on it? Well, I have a positive prediction, okay. Most of you don't know, and I'm not spilling the beans yet, but I am getting ready to kind of move. No deeds. No No deeds. I'm just going to say my move is going to go smooth. (laughs) Smooth move? Smooth move. Sounds like a a, a poopy formula. Hey, I was thinking of moving. The smooth moves. (laughs) (laughs) We're not talking about diuretics and shit. Okay. okay. (laughs) What about you, Alex? You got a positive prediction for the week or the year or something that you hope happens? Winning 50 grand? That would be nice, but... Hopefully, I do better this year in uh, stock car racing. Don't wreck the car. Oh, there you go. There I you like go. that. Positive prediction. He is not going to scuff up the sticker that we put on the side of his car. Right. right. <laughs> we'll be cheering you on, though. Yeah, we will. What about you, Jackie? Positive prediction? Uh, positive prediction is um, I think someone within Bobby's family is going to have a kid. Oh. Who's that? Are you pregnant? <laughs> Are you? Are you pregnant? Yes. Oh, oh my god! How did the sweets Oh my fucking god! Okay, this is the first fucking time we've ever had a pregnancy reveal on the show. Are you serious? Whoa! Whoa! Congratulations! Congratulations! 
questions. Are you guys excited? Have yeah. you been trying? <laughs> well, it's not like we were preventing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they were practicing. Oh exactly. That's how I say it is. Oh we just god. always practice. Yeah. Oh my god. That's exciting. Congratulations. Oh my god. I can't believe you held it this long. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so crazy. Do you know what the gender? No. Not, not yet. Really? No. Oh, no. you're going to have to keep us updated. Bobby crying. Bobby crying. <laughs> Bobby crying bad. Stop. I'm so happy for you guys. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Bob and Ray, where memories are fucking made. made. No shit. <laughs> Just, really? saying. Just saying. That's cool. Oh, my God. I didn't want to ask. <laughs> probably the best part of the whole fucking show <laughs> and it's been a stellar show that's the best part I'm, I'm about ready to fall off this chair <laughs> so are you guys hoping boy or girl or does it matter as definitely long as it's a boy healthy. boy dad says boy what does mom say uh i've been having dreams it's a girl oh, oh. we have a split decision yeah so that's awesome either way it's it's gonna be badass that's so <laughs> cool be, i might not call it it either <laughs> Oh, you might have to like this one. I might have to like this <laughs> you're, baby. You're going to have to like this baby. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby might have to figure out how to soothe a crying baby. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, 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 my gosh. You the, the twist to that elevator. Face. Oh, my God. I'm about ready to fall over. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bobby. Oh, I no, cousin him. Uncle. <laughs> uncle. I'm a Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> Oh that's what the god. kid's gonna call you. Reverend Uncle Bobby. Oh, I love you, oh my gosh, that's, I just hope it's healthy. So all of our listeners out there, we're now on Pod Addict, a couple other podcasting apps, and we're on all the big platforms like iTunes, Music, Amazon, Spotify. All you gotta do is type in Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. And there we are. Just look for the orange blue logo and you're good to go. So if you haven't listened and you wanna catch up, all you got to do is type that in, listen to our old episodes. Just don't listen to episode number one, two, or three, because they're horrible. <laughs> three is okay. Three is okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe start at three and then move on. Yeah. But you could told, we should just remove one and two. <laughs> just take <laughs> Especially one. <laughs> we should just get rid of that. <laughs> but you know, we got to start somewhere. Right. We're here every single Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning for your listening pleasure. But Bobby has a special PSA about the merch. Buy our merch. Um, we have hoodies that we are ordering. So if you want a hoodie, get in on it. Contact either Ray or me, and we'll we'll hook you We've up. We got it's, a list of it's people. 40, 45 bucks depending on size. Mm-hmm. We have a list already. So let us know so we can get those ordered for you. And we're gonna try to get them ordered by this Wednesday. Yes. It's coming up Wednesday. <laughs> well, anyway, brunchies, we uh-uh. love you, and we'll see you every single Sunday at ten in the morning. And we could not do this without you, so keep tuning in. Share, like, follow, whatevs, you know. Share, share, share. We will see you guys next week at ten in the morning. And until then, have a wonderful week full of positive predictions. Predictions. We love you guys, and. We love Jackie, and we love Alex, and we love Bobby, and sometimes we love Gary, even when he farts and stinks up the garage. (laughs) And laughs at my proposal. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you guys have a good night, and thank you again. Bye, Jackie. Bye. Bye, Alex. Bye. Bye, Bob. Bye, Ray. See you on the flip side of this stinky-ass fart. (laughs) I'll mail you later. Somebody just farted, Gary. Uh, (laughs) Oh, don't waft it over here. Definitely not my dog. He's not in here. But you guys, I hope you have. I feel like I'm on an elevator right now. (laughs) (laughs) We're stuck in an elevator the size of a garage. (laughs) Thank you for tuning in to Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray.